show some interest in and request instructions on how to cut the t-shirt that I did the other day so I'm actually going to do my video um, that I usually post one a week um, my video this week will be a how to cut and recycle a t-shirt so I'm gonna start off with a t-shirt that looks like this and number 11 this is a turbo Turbo Kick t-shirt and number 11 um, happens to be my daughter's soccer number so the first thing that you're actually going to do is you are going to cut the neckline so I usually just cut down the center and then take it around So basically after you're done cutting the neckline off, it sort of looks like this, and here's the neckline. You can do a deeper V um, if you wanted to, but I'm choosing not to because I don't want it to take away from the 11. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is you're actually just going to cut the sleeves off and you can make your sleeves um, thinner or you can make them wider. I'm doing this one wider. All right, so before you cut your sleeves off of, I recommend you just turn your shirt inside out. It just makes things easier. But I'm gonna do a wider band and I'm actually just gonna cut right along the um, perimeter of, like that math word, perimeter, right along the perimeter of this uh, seam. Okay? Okay, so I cut off the sleeves, as you can see, and now I have my shirt that looks like this. Now, I'm just gonna give you another option. The other option is that you can cut away the seam up, seam up here, and you can actually tie your um, top into a knot. But I'm choosing not to do that because I didn't cut a deeper V, and when you are gonna cut your shoulder seams apart and tie it in a knot, it's gonna pull your shirt up so you want to make sure that actually you're cutting down further so that when you tie the knot on your sleeves and it lifts the shirt up, it's not like bleh, bleh. It's not like this. But I didn't make a deeper V, so I'm not going to tie the knots up at the top. But the photos that I posted on my Facebook page, www.facebook.com backslash commit with C-H-R-I-S-S-Y, that shirt, I did cut the seam away at the top here and tie knots. It is cuter, but I don't want to take away from the 11 on this shirt. So that's why I'm doing this one a little bit different. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to cut the bottom off. And there's a couple different ways that you can do that. You could just do the straight across cut, or you could get a little fancy schmancy and actually do a cut where it's, lower in the front but in the back of your shirt it's a little bit longer and so in order to do that you're actually going to have to fold take your shirt and fold it in half like so and just make sure that it's lined up so I start at the back and I go right along the seam 
I gradually angle it up. Okay. So it's my children have woken up in the middle of the video. Like it always happens, no matter what. So right along the seam in the back, and then I gradually fashioned it or scissored it and cut it up forward. So basically, after you make that cut and you unfold it, your shirt is going to sort of look like this, where you can see shorter in the front, longer in the back. And you can do it more dramatic and really, I mean, from the front to the back, this is sort of what it looked like. But if you want it way shorter in the front, you could just start at the seam and then just angle it up further towards the front. Okay, so you have your t-shirt and it's as if you were going to wear it, but you're not ready to because it's not stylish yet. So you're basically going to take it and you are going to fold it again, take the front and fold it along the seam on the back. And now what you're going to do is you are going to cut slits and then we're going to actually tie those slits. And I don't like eyeballing anything, so I'm going to use my Staples Rewards card pamphlet and I'm going to start right underneath the armpit. So I follow the armpit out, I line it up, and I make my first cut, okay? Then I use this again. And we'll do one more. <laughs> then what you're going to do is, you're real funny. <laughs> okay, you're gonna take this little pula as Macy said that you cut. <laughs> and you are going to cut across the top so that you have two separate slats. And then you are going to, and I cut only one at a time and then knot it because it gets too tricky. You're sort of going to roll it And then you're going to knot it. Okay, in my last shirt, um, from the point where I stopped tying knots, I did knots to here, and then I just angled this all the way up to the top. Um, but you don't wanna cut the neckline. So if you're gonna cut this fabric out, you basically want to cut on a diagonal like this, but land right so that there's still fabric up at the top because then you have nothing to hold your shirt. I've decided to be a little bit brave and I'm actually going to tie knots all the way to the top. Now when you tie knots all the way to the top, you're going to have to start to taper. So if I'm doing my cuts this wide, I'm going to have to start to make them um, up the width a little bit less. Like I said, I um, wanted to be brave, do something different than last time. So I took the knots that I did down at the bottom and I'm actually going to continue them all the way to the top. And every now and again, just take your shirt and sort of stretch it out. Um, it'll make the holes in between the knots a little bit nicer. So I'm just going to finish that up.
but what I saw in another video is that they actually cinch the sleeves up here and tie it with the leftover, Macy's nodding her head, yes, and tie it with the leftover fabric here. So I am going to, go ahead Macy, get grand in. <laughs> and also use the leftover piece to do this, a headband. <laughs> <laughs> we, we actually did make headbands the other day, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we mine. ran all about the fashion. It was, it was right. ugly. So I'm going to cinch the tops up here with fabric, and then I will show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so, boo. My videos are more like bloopers, if everybody has to realize this, and now my father is making funny faces behind the camera. And my daughter is picking her nose, and my father is waddling his butt. So this makes for a very exciting video. So in order to sort of cinch the top of the sleeves like I showed you before, all I did was I took one of the sleeves that I had already cut off, and I cut a strip. And for all of you out there, don't hate my kitchen shears. <laughs> That's right. I'm using Pampered Chef kitchen shears because that's the sharpest scissor I have around and works pretty good. So I cut it like this. You just want to cut that seam right here. So I cut that out. Snip. Snip. And now it looks like this. But the great thing about t-shirts is that it has that elasticity to it. So if you stretch it, it gets all pretty. I do it on slide. Do you want me to tie? I tie again. You see? 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 I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm actually, maybe I'll get a little cute and make a little bow. What do you think, people? Want to make a little bow? Where's the other strap? And now, I'm going to tie it like a little bow. How cute. This is so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. But basically, now, strap bow. Strike a pose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That's how you make cute little t shirt, friends. Try one out. Let me know how it goes. Peace out. Commit with Chrissy.